Good guys, you my dad is Tao here. Welcome to the Godox Light Modifiers 101. Today we are gonna discuss the light modifier reflectors. Comparing with umbrella or softbox which delivers soft light, reflectors is used to deliver hard light output in general. And Godox has a wide range of reflectors for different usage. This compact standard reflector comes with 8300 Pro, 8400 Pro, 8600 Pro, and 8200 Pro. It's compact and so easy to feature in your bag. If you are run and gun kind of shooter, or you simply need a reflector to deliver harsh light output, then standard reflector will be the way to go. RFT-17 is an umbrella reflector. It comes with a screw so that you can secure the umbrella. It's especially useful when you need to lock the umbrella at a particular position against certain weight or against the wind. RFT-18 is a background reflector. You can see that the longer side helps to restrict the light spread. It's designed to lead the background with minimal spill on your subject. You can place it anywhere behind the model without worrying about the light spill. Plus, the clips make it easy for you to add color gels as well. RFT-13 delivers the strongest light outputs out of all five reflectors. It's about 1.3 stop brighter comparing with the standard reflector. The light pattern is slightly brighter in center with vignette at a relevantly defined edge. If you simply want to maximize your light output, then RFT-13 is the way to go. For example, for 8600 Pro, simply by replacing the standard reflector, with RFT-13, your light output will increase from 600 watts to somewhere between 13 to 1500 watts. RFT-14 is a 60 degree reflector. The light coverage is a bit narrower than RFT-13. The light fall off is smoother comparing with RFT-13. It delivers about two-thirds stop stronger light output comparing with standard reflector. It delivers the softer and more feathered light fall off at the edge comparing with RFT-13. It also supports with the option of BD-04 bundle kit. In addition to bundle, you can also have the option to add grid as well as color gel. If you need to refine the shape or the white balance of your light, then this is the reflector to go. RFT-19 comes with little patent interior, which looks like lots of mini mirrors. RFT-19 increases the light output roughly one stop comparing with the standard reflector, which helps a lot if you are using LED lights or smaller strobe to balance the sound. The coverage is slightly wider than RFT-14, but narrower than RFT-13. The edge is smoother than RFT-13, but sharper than RFT-14. The light comes with a smooth light fall off, which could be your advantage if you shoot outdoor, and you want to focus the light on your subject with less view on the environment. Or you simply want to create a dramatic image with a natural vignette around your subject. I would combine RFT-17 with umbrella. It has an umbrella look. The screw helps to secure the umbrella at a particular position. Now this is extremely useful if I'm shooting outdoor. I need to secure the umbrella against the wind and extra. RFT-18 is for the background lighting. The long sight helps to restrict the light spill on your subject.
Also, it comes with this clip, which helps you to attach color gels too. RFT13 maximizes your light output. It increases your output for more than one stop. If you're combating the sun and you need every single bit of light output you possibly can, RFT13 is the way to go. RFT14 increases your light output for about two thirds stop. Plus, you have the option to add light shaping tools such as grid, barn door, and color gel. I would take it with me if I want the option to refine the light shape and color, such as mimicking the sound. RFT19 increases light output for about one stop. I would use it if I want a particular look of the natural vignette. I use reflectors quite often on location to introduce harsh light for drama and deep contrast. In this image, it was the midday. To mimic the golden hour, we underexposed the ambient and use RFT14 to mimic the sunset. You can see that it not only lit up the model, but also brings the extra dimension to the tree branches. We have tons of beautiful bush and hiking spots in Australia, but every so often the tree completely blocks out the sun, especially in the winter. The natural light is too flat for my taste. In order to add extra dimension, I introduce additional light with RFT14, brings in the highlight to shadow gradient in the image. To me, this transforms a good natural look image into wow dramatic image. Similarly, we can place the RFT14 at the left side of the image. You can see that the light from the side adds extra texture on the tree and also add extra dimension on the model. Godox offers one-stop solution for all your photography needs, from flash, LED lights, and light stands, and of course, a wide range of modifiers. They've definitely thought of everything. Would you like a free gift? Godox is giving away a product every episode for your chance to win. All you need is to answer the following question in the comments below. Which reflector would you use? Do you combine color gel, grid, bundle, or umbrella with your reflector? For what kinds of photo shoot do you do, such as portrait, fashion, or product? Comment your answer below and tell us why. Also, be sure to like and subscribe for more tutorials. Thank you so much for watching. This is your mate Aristotle. I will see you in the next episode.